Hello everyone over here, welcome back to another FIFA 23 video and today's team review is gonna be Juventus from the Serie A uh, absolutely giants of the league but not uh, at their best year let's say uh, this year, I mean they did lose like 15 points on Serie A, I mean out of the Champions League uh, and but still on for the Europa League but Anyway, man, I mean, we're here to talk about FIFA term. This is going to be the second time that I'm reviewing this team. Uh, you can find the other Juventus team on the channel. But right now, I've decided to go 4-3-2-1. Uh, one. one of my absolute favorite formations to really play on online uh, uh, seasons, man. And Juventus lucky in missing some players, to be fair. For example, Paulo uh, Dybala, they did lose uh, McKinney, I mean, like, uh, some, like, two hard blows, let's say, uh, for this team. But anyway, they still have some very uh, nice players, man, that you can uh, really use here. Now, uh, Chesney here is going to be your goal uh, keeper, absolutely the best option that uh, you really have there, uh, no doubt about it. Bremer, a beast of a player, man, I've tried him, even an ultimate team, he is like a crazy good player, I really do love him, and he's going to be there. Uh, playing alongside now here you have to decide uh, Danilo or uh, Leo Bonucci Bonucci downgraded like uh, a lot man like super like too much uh, Danilo just better on uh, on every aspect man I mean like he is just better that is the reason that you have to leave him there uh, forget about Bonucci man way too slow I mean his time is gone you can say and it is time for the two Brazilians to lead the Juventus defense. Quadrado here is going to be your right back. Absolutely a rocket of the player. Five star skill moves. Careful a bit with him going up because that low defensive work rate uh, I mean, like, will hurt him a bit on the defense. And Alexandro Hill will move out because Kostic here is going to be your uh, left back. Absolutely, even that he has a uh, left mid and left wing. He can absolutely play on the left back position, I mean, and perform it uh, to a perfection, let's say. So, this is pretty much it about the defense. We're going to move on now uh, to the midfield. Now, uh, we have uh, players like Rabiot, Fagioli, Locatelli, Paul Pogba. We do have Paredes, and um, uh, this is pretty much it. I mean, like on the midfield. So, we have to decide. But one player that I'm going to put here will be the one and only man, Angelito Di Maria. I always like to use him on this type of formations uh, as a left uh, CM man. Even in a 4-1-2 and 2 narrow, I like him on the left CM position. For some reason, he's like super fast, man. Super like agile. It will increase your midfield speed a lot. Now, if you if you put Rabiot there, I mean, your midfield speed is going to be like way too low, man. I really do not like Rabiot this year. Uh, way too slow. I mean, he will slow your game like too much. That is why I decided to go with Di Maria there. Locatelli as your uh, CDM or CM, let's say. Now, Rabiot, as I said, looks... Like much much better in every single style than Lucatelli in pace and all of that. I just don't like him in the pitch for some reason. I don't know, man. He is way too slow, not to where he should be, uh, and for that reason, like he will go out because Paul Pogba will come in on that position, and I'm gonna leave Rabiot out. This is the first time. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that I'm leaving him out of the Juventus formation. But this midfield trio, I really do like it a lot. I mean, Di Maria and Pogba will bring a lot of qualities uh, for the offense. Be careful a bit on the defense, but for that, Lucatelli uh, will uh, take care. Now, moving on here to the attacking uh, trio, Fagioli, Fagioli for, uh, for sure will go out we're gonna have Moise Keen there a beast of a player like very fast like 87 pace lacks a bit on dribbling and all of that but still he can bring something uh, to the offense and Alexandro will go out because 
Uh, the best player on this team, Frederico Chiesa, will be there playing as your uh, left forward. Now again, one thing that you can really do it is put Rabiot instead of Locatelli. Other than that, I would not advise you to do. This is just uh, my way, let's say, of playing with this Juventus team with this formation. Because I did try Di Maria instead of Keane. And here uh, it was Rabiot. The, the game was just way too slow, man. Not for me, for sure. And that is why I decided to make these two changes. So, and Vlaovic, for sure, will lead your offense. Moving on here to tactics. Defensive style is going to be on balance. Width, we're going to leave uh, on 45. And depth at a 55. Offense here is going to be on balance. Chance creation at balance width again on 45 and the players in the box at a five bars corners and free kicks i always like to leave a two uh, you guys can leave whatever you want there but at rows the same thing pick wherever you want it does not really matter and the instructions very 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 important target man and stay forward are going to be the instructions for vlaovic and getting behind and getting behind will be the instructions for keen and akiesa Stay back will attack in and cover center will be the instructions for Locatelli and just stay back will attack in and stay back will attack in for both of your uh, fullbacks. So uh, this is pretty much it. I'm going to leave you now with some highlights and you're going to see a crazy game man. I mean the game starts 3 nil for my opponent and then out of nowhere switching Di Maria to midfield and then key into the offense putting Rabiot out. I will recover five goals, man. And in the next game, I will still play the same opponent. It was crazy. I beat him 2-0. I did, like, uh, um, put a lot more in the game, like, uh, like, impenate. Like, how, how can you say, man? Well, when, when you, like, try more, I mean, I was m much more focused. And he did not score a single goal, but uh, totally my game. But anyway, man, you can bring a lot with this Juventus team. Again, thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in another FIFA 23. <laughs>